Hi Floss Tube, I'm Joy. I'm Emma Kay. And we're the Carolina Stitchers. And we are safely back in South Carolina. Mm -hmm. Happily so. We had a great time in Ohio. We're gonna do a regular Floss Tube first and then we'll let you guys know when we start all of our StitchCon info, goodies, who we sat with, what we did. I would say what we ate, but it was boring. all of these hot dogs. Yeah, we'll get into that at the end. And other than that, we're going to try to be a little speedy today. It is a birthday dinner celebration in our household tonight. Yep. So we're going to do this, and then we're going to start decorating and get ready for it. Mm -hmm. What do you think? You ready? Everything sounds good. All right, let's do it. But uh, whips, did you have any whips so, before StitchCon? I had one very small whip before StitchCon. Very small. It's a Jan Hicks Creates Colors of Mexico. Oh, I love this one. This is one my husband had kitted up for my birthday that I thought was so pretty. I love I Jan love Hicks. It. Her patterns are so pretty. She really is your, your style. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I'm stitching this. It's on 28 count Dune Lugana. I don't believe that's a called for. I think it's just what they had. I'm trying to hide the price, but I don't think it matters. It doesn't matter. Let's see. Did they tell who was the... The dyer, it does not. Mm -mm. It just says Dune Lugana. And then just the called for floss and these organized baggies. I love that. But this is my very tiny start. I did a little bit of the leaf before Stitch Gone. I so, love your fabric. It kind of reminds me of Earth and Picture you. This Plus. Which I think I'll have a lot extra because I oh, don't yeah. think the pattern stuff. That's a like, half a yard. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. hoping to work so on this pretty. some more this week. Emma is turning into a sampler gal. Yes. I love that for her. They're so pretty. They really are pretty. But, uh, yep, that. that is my very tiny whip from before StitchCon. That is your whip. Uh, mine, I'm going to go start with what I'm working on right now that mm -hmm. I started before we left, and that is Plum Street Sampler, American Welcome. Okay. Plum <laughs> Street Sampler. You love old music. I do, but I have heard that one. American Welcome. I started this with Scrappy, Cindy, Chick, False Boss and Cousins, Textilly, Amy, and the Pokey Needle, I believe. But since then, Pam, Stitchy Linda, Snug Harbor Crafts, we found out they're doing one as well, so we're just kind of combining us all together. But Cindy separated it for us that's we started with her, she separated the pattern into 12 months. So every month you could stitch apart and then be done in 12 months. Mm -hmm. But I'm a, we're, I'm an overachiever. Really, this is just so beautiful. Which I, I cannot stop stitching it. So I've done month one, we started in G May. Mm -hmm. I've done month one, month two, and part of month three. And this is a picture of this plus. These are just my extra threads. But that is a picture of this plus Lugana. I think it's, I'm not even gonna guess. I can't remember. I cannot remember. I usually always know my picture of this plus fabrics, but I love it and I should be moving on today, but we'll have to see. You like if I actually, actually move on from that. What else? So I did get a little bit of stitching on Little House Needleworks Early Americans. I still have not finished Martha's Martha very Martha. large White House. I'm stitching these all together and I am using the included, just this little simple border. That is going to do it for me. And this is Picture This Plus Ale Lugana in a 28. I did measure it and it measured. A 36. They do say that it will shrink with their dyeing process. So my goal for this month is to definitely finish that house. I don't think this will be a finish for the year, but I love it. And it's so cute on this fabric. So and we were doing that with uh, myself and Missy with the building block sound. So if you're still building blocks, make sure to tag it on Instagram. <laughs> We would love to share that. Let's see. Oh, I brought this out actually the first day we got back. Which I love that bag. That's Dot Dot Goose. This is an older Dot Dot Goose mm -hmm. design. I'll show it in a second. I'm using the call for Let's 
And the inside is a, I'm gonna cover up the pattern. I love this like quilted like fabric. Mm -hmm. So, but what I'm stitching is hands-on design, Laundry Co. And this is the last one I have to stitch. And it is irony. Irony, the opposite of wrinkly. I love it. I love that too. This is just a linen I picked up at Hobby Lobby. And that's where I got in one a stitch for one night. That's a lot of stitching. That's where I got that one night. And remember, this is the one that I didn't do the wash, dry, fold. I did oh. the wash. <laughs> it made sense in my head. Wash, fold. So I'm still in a quandary. What do I do? Do I stick dry on the end of it? That's what I would do. I mean, how many people are going to realize if they're looking in the laundry room? Me and you. I think that's because we are the only ones that go in the laundry room. Just kidding. That could be. <laughs> that could very well be the case. I did start this one, and I'm not sure that I showed it yet. This is the brand new Little House Needleworks Country Cabin. Nope. Log Cabin Christmas. I still have to get the one for this month. That is such a cute little scene. I love the squirrel in this little wagon. I know. That's cute? adorable. I haven't seen that. So I'm stitching this on my very favorite ale. And this is where I am. I would love to be able to stitch it and keep up, but I just don't think that's gonna be, I don't think that's gonna be the case. I love the little mistletoe or holly that they have in the corner of the border too. Cute. That's pretty. So like I said, I have to order the one for this month. And if we're going too fast, you guys can slow us down. I put the speed thing. I know because sometimes I speed people up, slow them down. Like I said, we still have to decorate and mm -hmm. cook for birthday, but I knew I wanted to get this done. done. So let's see. Oh, this is such a cutie. Little Robin Designs, Pumpkins Alight. How about this? It's Stitch and Kitten. I love it. I that. thought this would be such a sweet little stitch. It's not a little. It's not little. <laughs> Let me show you guys where I'm at. I still absolutely love it. This is picture this plus Oaken. Let me show you my little stitch. This is the, see how teeny tiny this appears to be? Mm -hmm. And that cat is not quite as big as the pumpkin height wise and certainly not diameter. And this is what it is. <laughs> it's so fun though. Her color choices are perfect. It's all, let me see, I believe it's. I think, is it classic? It is classic, mm -hmm. but her color choices are They're so fun. good. I'm ready for fall. They're making a Practical Magic too. I saw I that, but why mess up? I feel like... I think they can either go really well with it or really not well with it, but Who's we'll see. It? It's, uh... I don't know. Yeah. Ooh, what if Sandra Bullock was in it again? Yeah. I haven't looked at Sandra into Bullock all the details. And, what's her name? Used to be married to Tom Cruise? The redhead? And Nicole Kidman? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I bet you they're not going to be in it. If they are, I'd be happy. The OGs. But I bet that's not going to be the case, Emma. And this is the last thing I worked on in the week before StitchCon. She worked on a lot. Which, I was... is, which is good, because I worked on nothing at StitchCon. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, this the is the stars. same one I'm doing American Welcome on, and it is a relic. Mm, okay. This is Cloud's Factory. I know, I've told you guys all about... How much I love them. I also love these to put large patterns in. I get them at Amazon. This is a real book. Let's I love how they do I still have, don't know if I've bought a pattern from God's Factory. I need to. Because I want to get the women in history. Where I, and I definitely printed the front. Remember? Mm -hmm. I can this look through it if you want to show the U.S. Presidents by God's Factory. What in the world? You know, the problem is when I take a picture, it's going probably me. look it up real quick. The problem is when I take a picture, I sometimes don't go back to where I started from. But I've finished my first row of presidents. I did post this on Instagram. There's a puppy dog 
Weird. I even when I was at StitchCon, I had Ruby hair in my stitching. I was like, how See is this it? possible? Okay, that seems to be embedded. This is again Relic Pictures Plus, and this is my first row of presidents, and I did alter the row from my oh, original it. pattern. I think it has seven, eight, seven. And so I altered them to be even, to go all the way down because we've had a couple of presidents since then. And, and you want to be elected soon. And so I was trying to make room for those, but I posted it on Instagram and a friend went right over and bought it because she wants to stitch it. And with her pattern, they've already changed them. Oh. Like how they lined them up. But as presidents are elected, once you buy the pattern, this is the pattern on mine. It's kind of You get the new president for free when they're elected. They also give you the option, they have a Statue of Liberty, which I think will be cute if I end up in need. Like know, have an extra space mm -hmm. or something. I, I would love that. I'd stitch her anyway, just add her. I on think it. some people might put them in place of presidents. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to do my factual, just to yeah. more like a history. And so, yeah, but I thought that would be cute if I end up, and this is a... Is that Crickle Wood? No. That's a bigger bag. I can't remember who this is. It's on mm -hmm. Etsy, and they're in an Easter bag because that was the only one I, I had that, that was big enough to hold everything. So I think that is all I stitched before. Stitch card. Stitch card. Did you have any finishes before Stitch card? Mm-hmm. Not a one. I had two during Stitch Con, though. Well, not one during and then one right after. We'll talk about that when we get to it. Mm -hmm. I had a finish before we left. La dee da, something wicked. I'm also going to stitch next La dee da, toil and trouble. Oh, I love that one. So I'm leaving it in my same bag, which is a dot dot goose. Because, like I said, I'm just going to continue on. With the next one, but let me show you guys. This is on Picture This Plus Eek, which is very hard to photo. Mm hmm But I think it's oh, a it looks great. so nice. I love that fabric. I think it's a great Halloween. It's like the orange version of murky. Yeah. And I did change my colors. I just used what I had. I wanna say her socks in this are green and green. See, it's so Can difficult for me to change colors on a pattern. Like, I don't think I'm at that point yet because I feel like my colors would look wonky. I think I just don't want something to stop me if I don't have that color. Mm -hmm. So I just add mm -hmm. my own. Make it yeah, own. it's a plenty big enough to add to do the next one on. Well, that'll be nice. So that was my one finish before we left. Nice. How about, I don't have any fully finished. I thought I would try to fully finish this before we left, but that didn't happen. We had a lot to do. Yeah, we had a lot to catch up on. So you didn't have any fully mm -mm. No finished? Way. Okay. How about gifts? Did you have any gifts? I did. I got a super sweet gift from someone that watches our floss tube named Caitlin that actually Aww. lives like 15, 20 minutes yeah. away. I noticed that. A local that. stitcher. It was a little card. And then... Because I've been on the hunt for these bibs. They had a bib, which is awesome because I'm going to stitch. My plan is to, so the nephews have little roosters. So for a baby girl, we're going to do the little chicks so they can still be matching. Be so but I'm super excited for she that. She still is looking for bibs more. because they're so hard to find. Yes, and there will be more she, nieces and nephews mm -hmm. and all the babies. babies. And then they also included this. How cute which is that? I thought was super cute. Cute. I love that, Emma. I cannot wait to have baby girl wear this. I know. I love it. So I was super excited for so that. Cute. Thank you so much. Thank it you. was That made my day. I was like, oh my goodness, I'm going to cry. We were so excited. They're, those we bibs are impossible to find. Like, they I've are. Looked online. I've looked. Well, we've had someone else contact us that they mm -hmm. found Yesterday, one, so someone else found another one for a dollar. So like, we are super nice. excited for that because, like I said, we're trying to collect them mm -hmm. as we can. And so I've been looking. eBay and LNSs. And yep. so I'm on, on the hunt. My gift was from Emma. She went to Barefoot Needle Art. Yes, we did a weekend in Myrtle Beach, my husband and I. And they do surprise bags. Mm -hmm. I forget, they're $10. $10. 
So let me show you guys what $10 will buy you. At Barefoot Needle Arts. Barefoot, and I've already given two to Emma because I already had the pack. Mm -hmm. So, again, $10 Barefoot Needle Arts. You got the Lugana one. So it did include a piece of Lugana, which I love. That's so pretty. I don't have any information on it, but I think this will be perfect for a Halloween stitch. Mm -hmm. Don't you? So it had the Lugana in it. And then let's start looking at patterns. Lizzie Kate Squared USA. I did not have this. I love that. So that was exciting. Kate. JBW, A Very Merry Summer. I love JBW. This is so cute. Sam Sarah. And I have a couple of Sam Sarahs and I love them. Over the Hill Wake Up. I love that. M Designs, which I do have a couple of M Designs, but not this one. This is Wild Winter. I've had coffee, so I feel a little shaky. And I had to, it was one of those days I needed extra coffee. I love this one, and I don't have this one either. Country Cottage Needleworks Lake House. I love that. I love that one. This is Snowman Season by Diane Allaire KK Custom, Custom Crafts. Yes. It's with K's. I don't know. My mind is all <laughs> like, ah. K, I want to say Crustum. <laughs> the Crusty Crab. The Crustum Crafts. Oops, you get tongue-tied. Alexa. I'm sorry I said her name. She'll want to talk to us now. <laughs> but this is so cute. It's a book because this is a large design. 11 by 17. So that That's was super, super pretty. cute. Another Sam Sarah. I do love them. They're really hard to find. This is Spring Robin. That one's pretty. How cute is that? I love Sam Sarah. This is a bitter cup design, which I love. It has it's autumn. Oh. Autumn welcome. I love that. I think I found something similar to that, but it's the Christmas welcome I have. I don't know if I brought it. And you know what I, I want to find? I think I might can find them on Etsy. Is I want one of the old old timeies, like 80s, the bows. Yes, like the Noah's Ark one that I found. Do you or you found who? it for me on eBay. I can look, because I still, it's in the kit. I haven't started mm -hmm. it yet, but I'll look at it. This kind of reminds me of that, but I want one of those old-timey. Just say old-timey. It's 80s. We're not old-timey. But one of those bows, because I'm going to do it, attach it to a wreath. Mm -hmm. Stony Creek, Words of Faith, and this is just chock full. Looks like we've got some. I love that. Look at that. Our daily bread. I love that. I love Stony, Stony Creek. Creek. I love Stony Creek. So, and, oh my goodness, I'm going to sneeze again. With my needle, Aqua Friendship Book. <laughs> Bless you. Yes, I'm so sorry. You're allergic to Ruby. Whew. Maybe I'm I allergic to... I think I'm allergic to, to Ruby a little bit. I'm not allergic to animals that I know of. Dun, dun, dun. Ooh. So that one, and then these cutie little charms. Which I love a charm. I think I could stick those on a little ring. Even if you made like a little charm for a project bag, you could stick those on there, yeah. So that was what was included in my $10 mystery those bag. Those mystery bags are amazing. I, I love, love a mystery that. bag. When Fire Poppies was open, I always, I feel like I always got those. Just to see. It's like a little Christmas gift. When I was a little girl, gift. I used to love mystery bags. We would go to the mall. You know, malls were a big thing on Friday night. And there was this one shop that had like ledgers and notepads. And they always had little mm. grab bags that I loved. I don't know why my friends and I would like pretend we were accountants at sleepovers. <laughs> so I don't know. But that's what we we used to, to pretend do. we were teachers and play school like at the end of the school year because yeah. our teachers would give us like all the extra worksheets and we're like, okay, class, turn to page, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, we didn't get enough school, yeah. apparently. We loved it. Um, I hear an upset weenie dog upstairs. Mm -hmm. I hear both of them. Let's see how it goes. We may break and see. Oh, this what is uh, one thing I just received today for haul. I'm trying to shake you guys today. Fat Quarter Shop, and this is the last one of the series. 
This is the Stitching with the Housewives monthly weigh-in August, and it's bees. Oh, I love bees. I've got so many bee patterns that I, I need to too. stitch. I know. I keep thinking when patriotic season for decorating is over, mm -hmm. we could go to bees and sunflowers, but I'm in such a hurry for pumpkins. I think I usually skip from patriotic to... Yeah, I think because we're moving in August, I'll probably just, when we move, decorate for Halloween. <laughs> Comes with them. They have a new one that I need to sign up for. But I think mm -hmm. they have a month break as they deserve. And I think that was the haul that I had before. I have just yeah. one thing a haul oh, before yeah. we left because I went to Barefoot. Oh, Ooh, sorry, I shook you. Needle arts. I found. So this <coughs> is the blue flower is the designer and it's autumn beach postcards. I love that. So I saw that and snagged them up. I Design for barefoot cute. needle art. Toes uh, in the stand and stitch in the hand. I need to get these that. finished. I want to get these finished before August so I could decorate with them this season. But yep, and Emma does move it. in August and she actually we pinpointed a day for her baby shower Ooh. that we can hopefully get at least two of her siblings from out of town home that's what mm -hmm. we're hoping for and it so happens that that's what august the 18th mm -hmm. is what we've decided on and they move the august day before 17th. so we'll see we'll i'll be done. a busy fun weekend yeah. it's like we'll down the road back, huh? and then the other one i found which this was in they've got a section at barefoot needle arts it's like the markdowns but this is Under the Rainbow, Noah Went a Fishing. Aww. And it's designed by Jane L. Monroe. So I thought this one was super fun. And this nursery is going to be Noah's, Noah's Ark. Ark theme. I've got so many. I love all. I collect all the Noah's Ark patterns I need to stitch. And this was started a Noah's few. Ark as well. Mm -hmm. But it says, when Noah went a fishing, the fish he caught were few. For the worms he used for bait, they only numbered oh, two. Oh, gosh. So I thought that would be fun. I love that. So I got that, and then I also did a grab bag, but it was the Ada, not the yeah. Lugana. And that's cute that you could get these on the do you think? I, thought I, I, I would have to check, I bet you could. You could probably call them. They mm -hmm. have a whole bin that is grab bag. Mm -hmm. And then it's labeled by fabric too, mm -hmm. so you can pick whether you want Ada, Ada Lugana, Lugana, Lugana. Linen. Mm -hmm. I might try linen. Oh, I think this was a needle minder, but I lost my magnet, so. I think he's just stuck on to something else. Well, we'll make this a needle minder. Yeah. If not, it's a cute little pumpkin. Mm -hmm. And then lots of charms. So it looks like wow. for different seasons. Summer, you've got a horseshoe, a cow. You might want the little cow one and the farm one for oh, fun. Nice. That's like a little charm. Mm -hmm. And then this is silk. silks. Which I haven't really stitched with silk. I have a February pattern that's kitted up that I need to that's start. I think you could do it with this one. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. So this is JBW Designs Holly. Oh, Nicole, I love this. Which I love JBW. So we've got that one, and then this this is Lizzie Kate Spring Basket, which I think this is the one we had doubles of. Mm -hmm. I love I Lizzie have it. Kate. Yeah, I love this one. This one's cute too. Lizzie Kate, hooray for the USA. Oh, this was didn't come in the grab bag. I bought this. It was a little barefoot needle art needle minder. Oh, that's so cute. And then Lizzie Kate USA squared. Sorry, which did you yeah. get this one? Mm -hmm. Love that one. And then this is these. Little House Needleworks Early Americans Paul Revere. I already had that one, but that'll be cute just to stitch mm -hmm. as an Which individual. Love, yeah, history, mm -hmm. but apparently Paul Revere didn't actually say the British are coming. I saw that on the History Channel. Hmm. He didn't make it. He got captured. So, we'll see. I need to see I video. To re You're like, what kind of show were you watching? <laughs> this I need is to see the video. <laughs> Snow Snowy. Stony Creek Collection. I Snow love Drifters. One. Which I love the fun looking snowmen that are just Look at the three that are colorful. throwing snowballs at each other. The this blue. is me and my older siblings. Yes. We won't tell who's who. <laughs> they know who they are. Okay. And this is a hands-on design, Let's Talk Winter, which I think I have the summer one. Yeah, I already have that one. But I hands love it. Hands-on design. Super cute. This is Sam Sarah Design, Sing to Me. Which I love the little Tweety Birds. 
And again, all this for ten dollars. This one is no, a Glendon I'm place. I'm gonna take I'm, this from Emma to, when she moves. Just take it. I'm, I'm just gonna it sneak it. I will my... not stitch this anytime soon. So if you would like it, you can. Yes. <laughs> Uh, it's Glendon Place you know gift thanks, of course. Look at that. Just because I've got so much Halloween that I want to start, but that yeah, is beautiful. You definitely do more of the Glendon Place. I've yeah. got them, but I don't really stitch them. So, okay. if oh, I end up, you know, I get it from my mama. And then this oh, is Letters from Mermaids: The You. This is by Nora Corbett, and I can't remember what you said we could do. Like well, Emma was like. Well, I made two suggestions. She was like, what am I going to do with the U? Because she was thinking names. Okay, my first suggestion was name the baby Ursula. <laughs> the Wicked Witch from The Little Mermaid. And she said no. It's a mermaid. <laughs> and so my second one was to get the S, stitch them together. And so it would say us. She loves all the beach I theme anyway. That. And then, like, put it in your bedroom. I like that. And you could do, like, a... You know, like you and your husband pictures, mm -hmm. and then it would say us if Ursula is an Ooh, absolute like a no. gallery wall. Yeah, yeah, I'm not naming the baby Ursula. <laughs> we couldn't come up with any other use. <laughs> like you? umbrella, not for a name. So Ursula, no, no Ursula. Mm -mm. And then this was a cute one. It's design works, and this is the fabric it's too. Kit. It's just a. Uh, I want to say that's. 14 count Ada. Mm -hmm. like. And it's a little kit and it's just uh I'm trying to see if there's a name there's for design it. Design works is the name. Wedding couple design oh, works. There we go. Which that one was cute. I would change the guy to look more like my husband when I stitch this obviously. Let's see who he looks like. He'll be like, what the devil? Well they don't have faces. He kinda looks they like a stitch. Tom Cruise. <laughs> That's true. But I thought the blonde in that was definitely like my wedding picture yeah, I had all the was... highlights. Well, I mean, you can't really change it that much. Just make his hair darker. That's There's no I'd skin on do. anybody. Oh, true. What? You're skinless. What? No one wants to be skinless. <laughs> this one is A Lazy Afternoon. It's by Creative Designs. And when Emma gets three cats, she's going to stitch that. I would be so stuffy all the time. <laughs> I'm allergic. I always had cats growing up. I love kitty cats. But my They're husband so and cute. Emma are... Like, severely, if they are in the room with the cat, they don't even have to touch the cat. Their eyes immediately swell shut. If I wasn't allergic, I'd have all the cats. Ruby would have a bunch of cat know. siblings. You know, your father's even said, if you really want a cat, we could have a cat. Mm -hmm. We have... I'm fine with He'd the He'd be so... I know. Red and allergic, that's not fun. He's already allergic to Ruby. Facts. I think I'm a little bit allergic to Ruby. The man gets every other week shots... So that he can but be I around Emma and Ruby. Ruby do. <gasps> the next one is the trilogy Sloan the Snowman, and it came with the beads. Oh, so these the little buttons. birds buttons. I love that. Are there? That is so cute. And then this, this one is, is another the trilogy, and it's Beatrice. Aww. And so it says, "Blushing Beatrice bounced by in her blue bonnet, bringing baskets of buttery bonbons Aww. and a bevy of bliss." Baby girl, will love that. So one. that one's a fun one. At first, I was like, "Wait, I don't know Beatrice," but then I read the saying. I was like, "Okay, it's not like a name one." You don't have to name the baby Beatrice <laughs> or Ursula. Bro, under the Are there scene. any other U names? Mm. Somebody have come up with one. Mm-hmm. Alma. That, no, a, or Alma. Or I think it's Alma, Alma like an A. a your body? Your Alma. Alma? I have no idea. I think so. For some reason it makes me think of radius. Yeah, it gets a bone. <laughs> this one is Spring took Cottage one by Kathy Bussi. class Bussini. in the nurse's building and now I feel like I know. I feel like I could be a... You could do it. Doctor, nurse, scientist, whichever. Mm -hmm. But this one's a cute one for spring. It's a little bit, it's got some of the sampler Yeah, it's like a band on. sampler, kind of. And that is Spring Cottage by Kathy Boosie. I don't know if I said that right, but that is the oh, haul gosh. for the grab bag. My pre StitchCon Ohio haul. I love that. Okay, next we had a giveaway on our last episode. Yes. And so which one do you want to start with? The so spool? the first one we did was the spool. So and this is a spool that we were given mm -hmm. i am going to stitch that that represents south carolina 
She has spools for states and holidays and all kinds of things. It is Crafty Blue Bonnet Designs. Mm -hmm. And we use random comment generator right before we started this. And then the winner was Carol's 3090. Hope if it'll let me zoom in on it. There we go. So our email is below. If you drop us an email, we will send it over to Crafty Blue Bonnet. And then you guys can get your prize. Yeah, you can yep. discuss which one you have chosen. Mm -hmm. Then our second giveaway is from the Scrappy Chip Boutique, and she is on Etsy as well. I'm not going to take it back out, but it is a project folder. It's like two project mm -hmm. bags in one. So we did the random comment generator, and that goes to Heidi and the Purple Bunny Studio. Aww. I love that name. Heidi's a good name. Heidi's a great name. I like it. There we go. So Congratulations. Yeah. So email us your address and we'll get that right out to you this week. Mm -hmm. And those will be, those were the giveaways. Thank you so much for participating. Yeah. You want to go What's to StitchCon or do you want to, do you have any plans before we go to StitchCon that we can finish? Mm -hmm. Do you have any stitchy plans? My stitchy plans are just to... I've really been trying to, which I'll show with my finishes, like really finish up some whips I have. I'm tired of having, excuse me, so many whips. I used to be a monogamous stitcher, which I don't think I could go back to, but I definitely feel like I'm just overwhelmed with stitchy mm. stuff. And there are patterns I really like that I want to finish. So I think those are my plans is just well, to go through what I have. My plan is to make more whips. I don't feel overwhelmed. I mean, I'll still make more whips. I've kicked up a few things I want to start, but I do want to get what I have done. Yeah. I still have a gift card for Mother's Day for 123Stitch. Oh, my goodness. And so I'm kidding up this Praiseworthy Stitches CD Pumpkin Cottage. I love that. Praiseworthy That's Stitches the one I'm so nice. kidding up. It was between that one and Widow's Black B&B. &B. Oh, my gosh. Those are both amazing. So... One of these is getting kitted up because, you know, I finished mm -hmm. the other one, which I'm going to backstitch. And then we're going to take it to Michael's is where I get any professional finishing that I have done. Mm -hmm. And they do a great job. That's Michael's in North Charleston. And clearly they have someone trained. Oh, wow. And I'm framing it. Did you I'm really going to continue working on some sows that we have going on. We have the Let's GPS together with Missy. We have uh, Rika from House of Stitch and Stash, which she just put out a new video yesterday. Oh, I'll have to watch that. Yeah. She is having a birthday sal, mm -hmm. and so I'm going to participate in that, and I think I'm going to go with the Plum Street samplers. If you go to their actual website, they have a bunch of freebies, and one it's a pretty large 12 days of Christmas sampler. Oh, yeah. And so I think I'm going to do that because I don't stitch many samplers, but I do have that printed out and kitted up. Mm -hmm. So I think I'm going to do that. And I'm trying to think of still the American Welcome Sal. And I may be missing some more, but that's what I'm going to do. Stitch on that. And other than that, I think that was our week. Before we Before left, stitch con, yep. and then a few days that we came back home. I can tell you, I woke up every day so happy to be home. It's nice. Like, it was so much fun, but anytime you're just in your own space, yeah. it's very nice. It is so much fun, and I'm mm -hmm. definitely, I am not an introvert at mm -hmm. all. I always say it was from being an only child. You learn how to carry on a conversation with people. I guess some only children maybe don't. <laughs> but... I think for me, that's why I didn't have any siblings. So you have to make friends, right? You got to put yourself out there. Yep. See, I'm definitely more on the introverted side, I think. Like, because you already had five best friends mm -hmm. that you like, can't get rid of. I don't know if I'd be able to go to SitchCon if it weren't for you. Well, Especially that first time I was like, maybe not the first time, but I think you definitely could. So we have a great time at SitchCon. That's so much fun. so happy. It's just as I've got older that I really am a homebody. And it's not that I can't go places or do things, but I just prefer- Once it hits a certain amount of days. Yeah, six days is usually my limit. Mm -hmm. And I really do prefer home to any other place. 
But, so we made our trip shorter this year. We went on a Monday and we came back on that Sunday. Mm -hmm. My older daughter and her family live a little bit north of there. So we went and stayed with them a few days and had a fabulous time. It's I always them so, much so hard already. to leave them, it really is. But I think we'll see them here in a couple months. So that'll be good. We mm -hmm. don't really have any more travel plans this year. Mm -mm. We're just gonna hunker down. I'm gonna get ready for a baby. We're gonna That's get scary. ready for a baby. We're gonna <laughs> help him move and decorate. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna have a baby shower. And then a baby girl. So we are That's super cute. excited. You're over halfway there now, right? It doesn't. It feels like this has been like 84 years. It's like that meme from the Titanic. Yeah. I'm like, how long is this going to take? It's a long time. <laughs> and then the babies are here forever. Like, eh. So no. I think we're going to get into Stitch Con. What do you Yay! want to talk about first? you want to talk about what you stitched? Yes. So we can talk about what I stitched on. Can we just combine like the finishes to like what I finished? Yeah. Con? Oh, or? Emma rung the bell. I did. I was so happy. Well, I'll show that first. In my lovely Stitching with Westies project bag. So cute. Brought that to StitchCon. And so I worked on, it was that Lizzie Kate Nevermore. And it was already oh, somewhat yeah. close to a finish. I had a few of the stars in the border to work on. But really love that. I really enjoy the Lizzie Kate patterns. Yeah, me too. And this is stitched. It's on a murky, I want to say this mm -hmm. is Lugano. Mm -hmm. And so it was You're just right. a small little finish. I got to ring the bell. The bow. I like the bow. 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 The Haunted Mausoleum of Julia, it's not Lagar, it's like Legree, <laughs> Legree, because I watched a video on it. It's so funny because certain podcasts will cover this, and if they're not from like the Edisto Charleston area, they say Lagar, because that's how it's spelled, but then people that are from Edisto, there's this one person that did a podcast, and it's Legree. I'm going to say Legree, or Legree. Funny little fact, Emma was our only baby out of six that was not born in Charleston. I know. The rest are Char Charlestonians by birth. Emma's a Washingtonian. Whoa, save the trees. Yeah. And so this, I stitched on this a lot at StitchCon. When we came back, I ended up working, I had about, I would say half the fence done during StitchCon. So when we got back, I just finished the fence and started on the door. I'm just doing the called for colors in DMC, and I cannot remember this fabric. I want to say, taupe. yep, it's taupe in just a 28 count Lugana. Mm -hmm. My needle minder is from Caffeinated Cat Crafts on Etsy, which so I really cute. like her. She's got it. I'm like, ah. I mean, it's okay. I just oh, I've got two it. needles on this. That could be dangerous. She's double loaded. Yeah. <laughs> so I've done that. So I think this will be a finish, hopefully by the end of this week, if I can keep stitching. Emma was so focused at StitchCon. Mm -hmm. I'm getting all the stitching done. That's so much fun. And then this is the last thing I worked on at StitchCon, which I ended up finishing after. I didn't finish it during because I started it. And she has a little story. Excuse me. Yeah, so I didn't realize Sue Hillis was going to be at StitchCon. I didn't really look into everything. And so she ended up, I think we were talking with Pam and Sue Hillis walks up and I was a little bit like awestruck, like she was like I love her patterns she I should have gotten her to sign something I but I didn't but I was just so excited to see her she was so sweet but uh it motivated me because I brought this along with me it was the hoop de doo sweet baby by Sue Hillis designs yes she is just beautiful inside and mm -hmm. she is lovely so I had about I would say like a fourth of this finish so I had the sweet and then the bottle the balloons and the pins and heart but then during StitchCon, and then I stitched on this when we got back, yes. I got a finish. And this is just a extra piece. It was white. I want to say it's 20. It's one you yeah. gave me, but it's, it's very a like a It's from thicker. like Joanne's probably. Mm -hmm. But I thought that turned out so well. It's a lot of back stitching, but I just love the way the colors popped and it was super cute and it's a finish. So I love glad that. it was baby girl's first stitch. Oh, so. it'd be great. Mm -hmm. I'm going to show you two things. 
I probably packed 13 whips. I think I did like 10, but it's on three. Let me show you what I took out the days I was there. I stitched very little, but I'm gonna completely blame the ladies that sat at my table. Mm. Here's the thing. When you only see your stitch con besties once a year, you just wanna chat the whole entire time. And I had so much fun. We laughed so hard. We had such a great time. But I did take two things out. This I probably put, I don't know, seven stitches in. And the person that's to blame for this, she knows who she is. I got little to no stitching done, but you know what? I wouldn't trade it for anything. Mm -mm. I would much rather chat with them, quite honestly, those days than stitch. And this is Farmhouse Christmas. Is it Little House? Little House Needleworks. And I maybe put in, I'm doing the quilt square. And there's still my thread hanging. And I maybe put in 10 stitches. It's on El Lugano. I love the way that white pops. I love it. And it's going to be absolutely beautiful, but it's not going to get finished at StitchCon this year or maybe any year. <laughs> Let me see. And this is what it should look like when it is done. Beautiful. I think I have that same pattern, but just the quilt square. You it's might have nice. had doubles. Yeah. Sometimes I get carried away, mm -hmm. believe it or not. So I brought that out. And it sat right in front of me. I'm also, I stitch a lot at home and I get a lot, I feel like, done at home, but I don't have 299 people to watch. See, whereas I don't really get a whole lot of stitching done at home. So when I'm at StitchCon, I'm like, yeah. No, not me. <laughs> I am chatting. This is, I brought the Stitch and Piece bag and the mat. Mm -hmm. And this is One Nation, which I had a couple of ladies say that they started it once they saw mine. Aww. And we should have got a picture, but I'm so distracted there. I have like stitch con, I don't know, distraction disorder. Is that a thing? <laughs> I'm stitching this on Ale. This is the One Nation. If you remember before I left, my goal was to have 50 stars. Which I did not, but this is what I did at StitchCon. These four stars, or almost. So you did four stars. But oh, remember before I left, I timed out how long each one took. I want to say it was like 22 minutes like and 22 something seconds. minutes. So what was that? 88 minutes, not even. 80 minutes of Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Three days. I stitched. It's beautiful. So I'm going to consider that a win. It is I would. one nation. Bygone stitches. I'm gonna get it done. I want to get it done. I love it. But like I said, it's not gonna get done at StitchCon because I'm always gonna choose my friends. Mm -hmm. And we made new friends. We had such a great table this year. Our old friends yeah. through a we mini like impromptu baby shower for Sophia. So we got a bunch of little baby clothes. Yep. And then we met the sweetest people. Well, I met two of them. I think one of them you'd already known. Possibly from floss too. Oh, okay. But they were just so sweet. I put good pictures on Instagram. I wasn't necessarily going to um, put them on my floss tube. Mm -hmm. uh, but we did meet some fellow floss tubers. Yes. For the first time that we've chatted with a long time. Out of our table, two, our table was myself, Emma, mm -hmm. Angie, Jean, Krista, and Dory. Mm -hmm. Krista and Dory both have YouTube channels. Mm -hmm. And so they're floss tubers. I'm going to include that below. But we had a fabulous table and we had so much fun. It was so, such a fun time. And what by So too I fast. opted to not stitch. But I don't regret it. Re regret it. Well, I don't. Because <laughs> Bugs Bunny. <laughs> I don't regret it. I would do it all over again. Mm -hmm. But I did want to show you some things, some goodies. When we got there, this was sitting at our table and it's an ort jar from StitchCon. I loved it. I have so many orts from But see, StitchCon. these are all the orts I have from StitchCon. See, I put mine in the, uh, I had no reach over and grab it. The stitch in piece, I used my mat. It was amazing, but I have all my little I'm gonna, orts in here. That's so good, and I had orts. <laughs> I was gonna show, 
probably not going to show all the table gifts. There's so many. So people are so sweet, so yeah, generous. I think I'll take a picture and put it on Instagram. What do you think? That is what I'm thinking. I'm because thinking. every time you get up, not just table gifts, but gifts from others, every time you get up and come back to your seat, there are more gifts. Mm -hmm. Do you hear something ticking? Is it outside? Maybe. We'll see how that goes. You're like, well. I was going to show you some of the gifts that we gave. So for all of our table mates, we made from jewelry boxes, we made little stitching kits. I purchased mm -hmm. these at Target. They retail for $20 each. And actually one lady came by our table and saw them and asked me where I got it from. And she went right to Target there and bought it. She called it a double decker. <laughs> So what I did, and you guys have seen these, I'm sure, everywhere. What I did was very simple. I didn't change too much. I took out this bottom and added a coordinating fabric and glued this back in. And that was all the actual changes I made to the box. Mm -hmm. I like the simple look of it. Kind of like my finishes. I like the simple. And I figured if anyone wanted to revamp it, up, it they could. Mm -hmm. But I thought I'd show you guys what we included. We bought these little clips from Amazon, which you see everywhere. So mm -hmm. we included some of those. We got some highlighters that were highly recommended. So we included, everybody got two highlighters. We got these. Oh, that's my personal goodie stack. <laughs> we bought these for a little floss drops on Amazon. They're metal. So we included those. These I absolutely love and I'm already using mine. These are the little magnet clips for your project. Yes. Like when you have a lot of fabric. Mm -hmm. So I included two or three of those. We included these which are designed to be purse holders for your table. You hang it from here mm -hmm. from your table edge. But you can also hang like your floss drops. I use mine a ton even now as a purse holder. It holds a pretty like my purse is heavy and it'll I those hold at it, Amazon. No I included these uh little measuring tapes. Measuring tapes from Amazon. And then that was in the top part. And with these double deckers, you also have a bottom section. So take out my personal stuff. I included, like I said, it's just blank on the bottom. Mm -hmm. So I included this. I included everybody got a little tiny Post notepad. It. And I included a couple of other things in the bottom. And I don't remember. I must have taken them out. I don't remember what that was. I can't at the moment either. But then it zips right back up. And it's easy to throw into your larger. I think this is great if you're going to be somewhere for a few days. Mm -hmm. This one. But we got as a table gift from some of our sweet, sweet friends, a mini one. I and love I it. love it. If Emma's coming over here, if you're just running down the street for something, but you're taking your stitching, this is perfect to pop in your bag. And look what they did. They kind of did the same as us. They did mm -hmm. a little fabric just in the bottom. They included some patriotic DMC uh, beeswax. Little foldable scissors. Those scissors are nice. I've needle, seen the oops, a needle minder and then this little cutie. I love how it was the red, white, and blue. Yep. The Americana. So this is perfect size just to run on the street. I stick it in my purse. Yep. I love it. So we did get that. And I've had a lot of questions about these. These are our badge holders. Mm-hmm. And a couple of friends had these made for us last stitch con. Mm -hmm. But I did see this also holds your phone. This is this one. It also holds your phone on the back. Yep. So see you can walk around, take your pictures. You have cash or chopsticks yep. that can go in the front. Do what pocket. you need to do. And so I didn't see these for sale anywhere, but I did see the pattern on Etsy. Mm -hmm. I want to say it says like badge phone holder pattern. So that's where we got ours from. They were gifted. So we don't know anyone that makes them. Let's see. We gifted these as well. Mm -hmm. Little Vera Bradley. 
This is perfect for your lip gloss, your chapstick, your eye drops, your goodies powder. <laughs> Whatever you need. Those are perfect. And we also gifted Emma and my youngest daughter made these. Yep, one of our sister sleepovers. They had a kit for on Amazon, but you have to table. bead them yourself. And I was like, Whoop. we used all the fun beads. So now there's just like seven pens with no beads. That's so cute though. So that, let's see. Oh, one of our very best friends also gifted us. I love, I love this. This I helps me wait. from sticking my needle in my mouth. Because you told yes. that story and I was like, mm -mm. Mm -mm, Don't do that, ladies. It's part Don't of my, uh, what's it called? Stitchy setup now. Yep. It's on my table. That's why I told Emma we've got to do this before birthday stitch con recap because I've got, I'm ready to use my stuff. I know. Mine's okay. been sitting on my coffee I guess table. I'll show a few that. more things. We get it from our stitch con besties finishing paddle and mm -hmm. fabric. That was fun. We saw our cousin friends, and they gifted us, which I've already torn into mine. <laughs> they gifted us like these little I ceramic the berry things, and it was full of little goodies. This is a hair straightener. This is a cord organizer, scissors, a tape scissors. measure. There was a wax, but I've already used that. Yep. And so that was a sweet gift and great idea for anyone going to a retreat anytime soon mm -hmm. um everything else really i've tried to there were floss drops and bag mm -hmm. charms and pins it was all so beautiful a lot of sweet but we'll definitely uh, take gifts. a picture yes i'm going to take it all out and take a picture like i said some of it was dropped off while we were out of the room mm -hmm. so I didn't see who gave it to us but thank you yes. to anyone and everyone that remembered us that gifted us with anything we so appreciate it we love it and we're going to use it all one of our table mates gifted us again if you need ideas for a retreat I love that this is a little cupcake, cupcake holder and it has a little cupcake liner mm -hmm. and she gifted us DMC how cute is that Look at this little needle holder. I love that. How cute is that? Stickers. These, which I have already made a couple of these before. The little hoops that you can stitch a small and mm -hmm. undo this and make it into like a a bag. Charm or That's something. That's usually what I use it for. And then this little, uh, this is a needle binder. Mm -hmm. And so that's cute. But yeah, she fit all those goodies into this cupcake holder. Cupcake I holder. Love that. That was oh. such a cool so idea. that was a fun idea if you are um I lost track of thought. One of my daughters walked in the back of the house. Interrupting. That's okay. And then Stitch Con, when we went in, you get your goodie bag when you first arrive. Yes. You want to show the bag because mine is full. Which I feel like they get bigger every I year. Do. This but was so nice. We immediately started using it. Mm -hmm. It is huge. It's got a it zipper zips. pocket, a back pocket, mm -hmm. it zips, which I love the ones that zip, especially for cross stitch projects, mm -hmm. just because it keeps everything clean. We love it. We immediately started using it, mm -hmm. and it came with a little stitch con book. Mm -hmm. I love that. And then we all got our passport, which has some, I think there's a freebie. It talks about mm -hmm. floss tubers, the which itinerary. All the floss tubers. Which there's a good bit from both weekends. Oh yeah. Okay, so we got that when we first arrived. And then, let's see what else we have. We'll show you guys what we bought at the annex. But first, I do want to show you these bags. Oh, yeah. That we were gifted by fellow Stitch Con goers. So we met new sweet friends. This we received from Winona, and she lives in Canada. And this is actually a photo of her farm. It's beautiful. I like how it's like sunset. Isn't it gorgeous? So mm -hmm. relaxing. I say I like to be at home, but I think I could be on her farm too. <laughs> I think I'd be happy there. And 
Look how sweet these bags uh, are. I love these. I like the Canada little, pin. Oh, Canada? <laughs> Those are super cute. We lived in sweet. Washington two times for a total of seven years, and both times we made sure to get to Canada mm -hmm. both times. So we visited Victoria and Vancouver, and we had a wonderful time in Canada. So thank you so much for that. That was super special. And then I'm going to show you this bag. Threads and stitches on Etsy, I'll leave a link below. She sells fabric, so she does not make project bags. She sells fabric, but she made these. Which I Emma love and I. these, I love the pumpkin. Let me show you a close up. These are gorgeous. Mm -hmm. I am gonna leave a link to her store, because like I said, she sells fabrics on Etsy. And then, how beautiful. So both these bags are so special to us and we just want to say thank you again. Yep. We loved them. And then we were gifted patterns. We yes. were gifted patterns and we found patterns on the freebie table. Free table. Yep. I think I've got mine in a mix because I didn't bring all of them. I yeah. Got we probably won't go through all some. of them, but we'll go through a few of them. Mm -hmm. Right? Oh, yeah. With so, combined. These were gifts. We pull out the gifted patterns. We got it in. So, there's Abby Rose. Share the joy of Christmas. I love that. And I think Abby Rose are hard to find now. So, mm -hmm. I'm excited for that. It seems like I remember Pam stitching in Abby Rose. La Di Da, Briar Rabbit. I love it. Oh, and you know, I love Plum Street, so I cannot wait to get going on these. A Merry Heart. This is Welcome Hearts Home. Sewn in Friendship. And it's both of them. One is from Plum Street and one is from Heart Street. Love that. Birthday tart. So fun. I need to stitch some more birthday things. Mm. Pomegranate Santa. Plum Street. Aww. Love that. I love this one. Holiday Inn, and I cannot wait to stitch it. This is Brenda Gervais with Thy Needle. I have the Santa one. So I think I might leave that out. That might be one I start soon. I like it. And these were Kathy Barrett, Carriage House samplings this is carriage house samplings goose she is for goose which is funny because one of my grand dogs is goose oh yeah p is for peacock that means we've got to get another Dog animal and, and name, it name it peacock. peacock i love this one plum street sampler betsy stockings and i have several stocking patterns that i'm gonna start so let's see what else we'll show you guys uh, Shepherd's Bush. That is the winter. Nope. What was the name of that one? It says Winterberry Buttons. Winter Bird Houses. Love it. Twin Peak. Blue Noel. Oh, I love this one. And this was a freebie. Mm -hmm. Kathy Barrick, First Snow. This was on a freebie table. I'll say if it's on a freebie table. Otherwise, it was gifted to us by very sweet fellow Stitch Con goers. This is Leisure Arts Southern Magnolias, and it was on the freebie table. And you know, magnolias are a really big thing for us around here. Mm -hmm. So I love that. This was a gift. Tree of Life Samplings Road Home. I love that one. Too. I was so happy. I was gifted this one, but I have finished the Liberty for All, and I have the It's Fall, y'all, and now I have Bugs and Kisses, Ooh. Lizzie Kate. Creepy and These are a good size. They're cute. So, uh, oh. Glendon Place, Harvest Gourds. Everyone was more than generous with Emma and I. Mm -hmm. We were very touched. Thread work, primitives, give thanks.
simple little Quaker. And actually, this was gifted to me, but it was gift. I, I love it, but you know what? Emma loves it more. <laughs> and she is a safe oh, like gal. You. Let's see. We're, oh, we're going to. Kathy Barrett, North Pole. This is new from last year. Mm -hmm. Can't wait to stitch it. This was Annex. Let's see. Sampler Company. Designed by Brenda Keys. Look at that one. Oh, wow. So, I think I need to stitch some samplers. Mm -hmm. No? This is In Heaven and Nature Scene, Kathy Barrick. I love this one. Barbara Ann Designs, Something Wicked. Another Something Wicked. Oh, I love her designs. I love that. These were freebies that I found because... A lot of you know that I really enjoy Paula Vaughn. Mm -hmm. And look what I found on the table. Paula Vaughn books. It includes all of these. My friend Janet Country Cottage Stitches, I believe. She has some Paula Vaughn that she's working on. She loves them. This is the best of Paula Vaughn, and it's a book. Super excited. This is At Home with Paula Vaughn. All of these are in here, and these were freebies. And this is the best of Paula Vaughn book, too. I love it. So, those were gifts from some very special friends and viewers. And we love it, and we love you guys. And I'm going to stitch them all. At least I'm going to start them all because whips don't bother me one bit. <laughs> so, I combined my piles in the back. Uh -oh. There's a couple where I'm like, yes, this was a gift. The rest, I'm not oh, sure. It could have been a gift. Wait a I messed up. I have one super special gift. I put it separate, which is why I couldn't find it. But I found it. And this was oh, an extremely God. special gift because, as you guys know, my husband is retiring mm -hmm. soon, within a year, from the United States Navy after 30 years of service. And... One of my, I would call her my stitch con bestie, besides Emma, she gifted me with Lila Studios Let Freedom Read. Oh my goodness. Well, I love the, how the Liberty Bell's on that too. What an amazing gift. I was so touched. And she gifted me with that. She also gifted me with the EMCs. Can you love see? it. Yay. So, she also gifted me with um, Sue Hillis, Uncle Sam's Parade. Oh, that one's cute. Which you can see right here in the corner what it looks like. Mm -hmm. So, like I said, I set that a little bit separate because I wanted to make sure to show that to you guys. Mm -hmm. And I think everything else I it's an annex, I purchased. Think. Let me double check it, though, because I don't want to miss anything. Thanks. Oh, I have one thing I found on the preview table. I love Charles Wysocki, and I have a couple of them, but I've never seen that one. Oh, very nice. That's full. You know, covers. those are the. We also do these puzzles. Mm -hmm. I mentioned the puzzle. one. They're almost done. Pepper Cricket Farm. And Missy actually was gifted from Two Noodles Pulling Thread one, and I sent her the picture because I already had it. So they're saying mm -hmm. that we should do a. A sow. Another sow. Mm -hmm. Let me do one more quick go through because if it's a gift that I'm going to show. Oh, this was a gift. Praiseworthy stitches. Simple gift. Thanks. And I'm going to start this one ASAP. Okay. And that is it for my gifts. Mm -hmm. I Alright, I'm trying to think. Oh yes, so I combined my piles, so I'm not 100% sure what's a gift and what's freebie table. Okay. There's some things I'm like, that was freebie table, the rest, I don't know. But I know this one was for sure a gift, and I love this sampler. Aww. It's Woman of Honor oh, Sampler yeah. by Rebel Stitcher Designs, which I want to say Rebel Stitcher does needle minders as well, because I've got a few of those Ooh, that I love. Ginsburg. And so it's just a little sampler that, with important women in history. Yes, ma'am. 
And I want to say this is a newer pattern. Let's see if I have a date. 2022. So yeah. that was a gift. That's fabulous. And then I want to say this was a gift. It was Little House Needlework Sit and Stitch. But like I said, it could have been Freebie Table. So I'm just going to show them all. Should have just shown there one or the other. If I know mm -hmm. something, I'll. This was the Cricut Collection, Noah's Art. That was a gift. I love this one. See, Mama knows better than I do because I just to, put it all in the same bag. On you and 299 other people. <laughs> this is Lizzie Kate, a baby sampler. This and it comes with gift. buttons. I love that. I love some Lizzie Kate. Me too. And this is Lizzie Kate, a child was born. This little baby sampler. Great, that was a gift. I love that. There was, I saw on Instagram, Lizzie Kate has a, it's like a, I forgot what it's called, but they're like sustainable little flip it. Well, yeah, so I it's like, have it. I should have didn't realize. Um, my brain just, whoosh. But I saw someone finish them on Instagram, yeah. and now I'm like, I think isn't that was... AZ? What is it? Zoo? <sighs> I can't yeah, remember. But it was cute. It was like plant a tree. Instagram. Write a book. Yep. Because that was part of the a bike. building blocks I posted. The mm -hmm. ones that we have. Mm -hmm. have those in okay. Might snag them. <laughs> this one, it was cute. I've never done stamped cross stitch. I have a few of them. But it's the, is that... Busilla. Busilla. My grandmother did, and my girls had some of the pillowcases for a while. But I thought they were super those were cute. It's a little pillowcase and sheet set. I think you'll like that. And then Pam, who we've gone to StitchCon, I think we've been in the same weekends, at least two years in a row, because we saw them last year. And she was picking up some baby stuff for me at the freebie table if she saw it. So this is Hickory Hollow Baby Talk. So we've got all the bibs, which is just cute. And then another one, this is a different type of bib, but it's that quilted. Then you can stitch the pattern right here. So I think I'm gonna pick out a pattern and start this. Mm -hmm. So that was super sweet. Thank you for being on the lookout. There were a few more, but I don't know if I brought them all because I left like, yeah. A good bit of the stuff at that a was pretty table. apartment. The stocking. This one, yep, the stocking. It's just the pattern. It didn't come with the goodies. I don't. I think. can't find who wrote the dimensions. This. Maybe. Mm, I don't know, but it looks like a dimension. But I love the Christmas stocking patterns. There's a few of them on the brag table, mm -hmm. which was really nice. Which that's where the brag table is where if people finish designs. You can like put it out. We took videos table. of the yep. brag mm -hmm. and. Uh, see all the cool stitching this is another it's a historical sampler it's rebecca collin 1801 a fine and rare english sampler by the scarlet letter which is the same one that i showed recently like the same designer yep. i mean so i thought that one was pretty i like the I bird love it. this one is a kathy barrick good intentions i love the older kathy barrick mm -hmm. I found one that I had where I was going through my stuff last night from 1999. Oh my goodness. Yep. Year after I was born. Mm -hmm. This is a I love that. Stony Creek Fat Flakes. Oh my gosh. Right? Yep. Or is it Blueberry Hill Stitchery? Or Jeanette. no, it's Stony. No, it's Jeanette. Jeanette Cruz, Cruz Designs <laughs> Fat Flakes, which is this cute. More of the, I like the snowmen like this. That are just all sorts of funny. We've got that. Oops. And this one is cute. It's oh, White oh, Lion gosh. Needle Art Designs and it's Ghoul Top. So I'm not sure how the colors will show on the Oh, those are good. That's actually, orange marmalade. It. I have orange marmalade and it is bright. I don't think they show up as bright as they really are. Mmm, good to know. So mm -hmm. I picked up that. I don't have the buttons, but I have some extra Halloween buttons yeah. that I could probably use that. for this. This is a Praiseworthy Stitches. It's Dandelion Birds. That's your Praiseworthy Stitches. Woo! It's definitely one I, I could that. probably manage. Yeah, I don't know if I'm ready for the big ones yet. We'll see. Uh, this is a Wax and Moon Designs, oh, Mostly Ghostly, which I thought these were super cute. I like the little ghosts they have displayed as well. Mm -hmm. I think we can make those. Oh, easy. This is a shepherd's bush, a snow folio. So good. So it comes with three different patterns. 
I love mm -hmm. that. This is another shepherd's bush. It is skating sampler. No, oh, that's gonna be fast. Mm -hmm. So I could probably get I that. I think you done. just need a charm. I'll find a charm. We'll find it. This so is a good. JBW design. Sweet nothings. Thinking of you. Which I love JBW. And then I found a few magazines. I didn't have these ones I you that I remember. Some too. Uh, yes, I was gifted some too. Well, one came with the stitch con. So oh yeah, that, show that, that one. Double. So this was also in our goodie bag when you first uh, check into stitch con. Mm -hmm. It's just cross stitch. I want to say it's the July issue. Mm -hmm. That's what it says. Display until July yeah. 22nd. I already have it. It's just because the summer I, 2024. Subscribe to it for me. Which their Halloween issues out for this year. I know. I saw it. someone had we ordered order theirs. It. I was like, we need to get ours. So that mm -hmm. came in our little bag when we checked in. And then there she is. gifted these. Yes. So this is the 2011 cross stitch. Just cross stitch for Halloween. Okay. I love that one. And then the 2012 special collectors issue oh, for Halloween. That one has some good ones in it. So, I'm super excited for these. I love that. And then I also found they had a few of these, but I love the cross stitch books. It was a uh, Holidays in Cross Stitch 1987, Aww. the Vanessa Ann collection. I was in tenth grade. Woo! But it's just got a bunch of cute. I looked through it because they had 1987, 1988, 1989, but I really like the patterns in this yeah. one. So I hope they'll start on some of those. I think that was it for that. So we'll go into yes. our annex purchases. Mm -hmm. When we go to the annex, we always have one thing, I would say one main thing in mind. Yes. Right? And that is project bags. Mm -hmm. We are always on the lookout for project bags there because we know we can purchase large ones. Let me take out these other things I purchased. I almost forgot I had this. Yeah. But we go in. Emma was actually there early that morning. Mm -hmm. These are they from Lin X Stitch Creates. And you can see just how large these are. So I got that one. Oh, maybe I won't show you guys my damage <laughs> I did. My husband may be watching. Uh, Linux Stitch Creates. And then I love these too. This is Cricklewood, and actually Emma was up early. Emma gets up early by nature. I'm mm -hmm. sorry I'm shaking you guys all around. But she found this one, and actually she put it on hold for me until I woke up. Mm -hmm. And it is one of our Cricklewood, and we actually met her. Yeah. So we were able to tell her. How much we love her bags. So, I found those. And again, the same day Emma was up early, she was a little sneaky Emma. And she purchased Cozy Lane Sampler Erin Elizabeth Cummy. Which I think that one's just beautiful. I love it. So, Emma got that one. And then when I went to do some shopping, I found, this is like my Abraham Lincoln needle minder. But it's Santa. Santa. And now, oh, I was going to say we know who it's from, but we don't. Because it says Vintage Santa. Oh, it's not Santa. on there. I knew I should have taken a picture. Dang. I love the Artsy Housewife, as you guys know. Oh, that's the other Geraldine's Flowers Sal that mm -hmm. we have going on. That's Krista and myself. All that's on, what's that Instagram again? <laughs> Cross something salad. Put it in the... Yeah, description. But anyway, this is an artsy housewife Christmas chicken, and it was finished, and it is big and beautiful. And just bright. The way the mm -hmm. colors popped on the finish, I was like, oh, it's so amazing. I've seen this one before, but I once I saw it finished, I had to have it. Lindy Stitches, Bury Me With My Needle. I like that one, too. That one's a big one, too. I think the finish was a pretty good size. I loved it. So I grabbed that one. I felt like we didn't buy that much there this year, mm -hmm. Emma, compared to how we <laughs> we usually do it in the past. They had Liz Matthew. There were forty-seven trunk shows there mm -hmm. and seven fabric dyers. But I picked up the tenth day of Christmas Christmas sampler, Liz Matthews. 
I like how they finish it in the tree. They had one there that was finished. Yeah. Um, there's some trees. And I've looked at this one forever and I went ahead and got it. The autumn cloche. Do you say cloche or cloak? Cloche. I'm not sure. I'll say cloche. I don't know. So pick up that one. And then, like I said, there were fabric designers there. And I found these two and I absolutely had to have them. It doesn't say who they are. Maybe it will. Atomic Ranch, Joy Lynn, so it was perfect, right? But I've been looking for a red, and this is lemon, and I got a fat quarter. So I picked that up. This one, I went back and forth, back and forth. And finally, I looked online, I looked at it, and then I went back to the room that night. Mm -hmm. And I tried to find some online, and no one had it, like, ready to ship in this count, and I just had to have it. And this is Dames of the Needle. Color is Peddler's Blend. Which I love. And it's in a 32. That. They also had another really nice one. It was Dames of the Needle. It was, like, my inkwell spilled yes. or something. Which but that was, was, like, really in good 40. For was no yeah, way. the count, I... I loved it, but I can't do a 40 count. And right so now. you know how much we love to stitch Halloween. Mm-hmm. I was looking at some things yesterday that I thought would be perfect for that. I love that fabric. That's really good for Halloween. So it's a 32, but I could not leave it there. Mm -mm. Like I said, after two days, I was like, just give it to me. And then I bought some floss to get up a few things from there. They do a stitch con quick ship. That's one mm -hmm. benefit you have if you're not going to keep keepsakes. You can just fill it out with what you want. And they bring it back on Stitch Bus and let mm -hmm. you know when it's there. And I think that is it for my for the purchases. Mm -hmm. the Annex. So for mine, I didn't really get a whole lot this year, but I really have been wanting a project roll, like for the past, since last StitchCon. And so I finally got one this year. This is... Stitch and Roll Project Rolls by Althea. And I just thought this was so fun. Sea turtle patterns are definitely so down my alley. I need so to uh, start putting my finishes on it. But yeah. yeah, so I grabbed that. Roll this back up. And then got another project bag, which this one I got, I had to get it. Once you see it, you'll know. Oh yeah, this was Barbie. So and this is by the Black Hat Stitchery, which I actually saw her there. So that mm -hmm. was really cool to meet her. But I love this bag. It's just so fun and bright. Oh, that's who we met. We didn't meet before, did we? I don't think so. It's all blue. I think we met black. It is a blue. <laughs> Sorry. Because she was saying she this. had more of that, the Halloween like fabric. That you wanted. The horror movie fabric. Mm hmm. Yep. And then, let's save that. I picked up a needle minder. So this says, tis the season but to be spooky. It's by, mm -hmm. it? But it's by the same person that you got your snowman know. one from. <laughs> and then this is the artsy housewife. And I just, I thought this was so cute. The way the crow's eyes look. It's gorgeous. I love that. Which, oh my goodness. I just love this. She had so many finishes there. And mm -hmm. they were so good. And then I just did the quick shop at Keepsakes to get the hand dyed floss for it. Pretty mm -hmm. sure I already have the DMC. And I have a similar fabric. I was trying to look, I couldn't find it, but it's like in the little packs that say like artiste or whatever. From oh, Hobby Lobby. okay. I thought that would be a good one to stitch on. So once I find that, you I will more than I thought you start did. stitching. I did too. Well, this was from you. Was this is another, this is the Artsy Housewife, and it is Beach Rat, which I, I thought think was fun. There's a style for that too. Which that was from Mi Madre. Which Perfect I for Emma. Yes. Which is finished was super cute. All mm -hmm. of her finishes were amazing. And then we've got this is Erin Elizabeth Designs, the Halloween. And tier. these are such a good manageable. You know, I'm doing the tiny moder modernist and they are big. This one is finished four by six mm -hmm. on 14 count. So I think it's definitely more my speed. Mm -hmm. And then this one I thought would be cute. It's a Sue Hillis Designs. You are enough. Thank you for being you. So it's a bunch of affirmations. But for a children's room. So I figured I could huge. stitch this. I don't know if I'll get it stitched before the baby's born. But 
it would be nice to have for all the kids. Yes, like, it's have tall. it set up in their room. How tall does it say it is? It's mm-hmm. finished on 14 count. It's 36 and a half Ooh. inches tall. So I'll probably start on this sooner rather than later, yeah. but don't know when I'll have it finished. This is Rebel Stitcher Designs, The Midnight March, which I love this one. So that one I thought was fun. I haven't oh, kitted that one up yet though, but would love to. Mm-hmm. And then I got, so StitchCon, Sue Hillis Designs will do a pattern special for the theme for StitchCon every year. And so I've gotten it every year. I haven't stitched them, I need to. But this year's, it was a come to the garden theme. Yes, it was so, so this cute. was an exclusive StitchCon design. I love it. I thought that was super pretty. And then this one, which I want to say it is Pam from Just Keep Stitching that's doing mm-hmm. a stitch along. And so it starts July 1st. The Nutcracker, which I need to see. I thought I had fabric that was big enough for it, but I'm not sure. I might need your help with the measurements because okay. I don't want to not have enough. Yeah. But I love the Nutcracker. She is, that will be another Sal. She is stitching with Pam. Ooh, and so this is by Twin Peak Primitives. I'm just going to do the DMC called for and uh, get to stitch in July 1st. And that is my annex haul. Now, do you bring your um, exchange book? I did. Okay, you want to show that? So this was so sweet i was so happy i wanted something halloween themed and so it came in this bag so when my number got called i snatched it up i yeah. didn't bring all it came with like pumpkins so and stickers and, that and was a from cauldron stitching and spencer yep which we can link their uh floss tube mm-hmm. below my stitchy stuff is falling and on instagram that but i just felt to so spoiled so then oh, it was so good these and they even came with little stands i did mm-hmm. not bring them but these are so fun. And they're done on like a, it looks like a, it's perforated wood. I guess that's something the word for it because it's wood. They said it was but really it's like, like a, something to stitch on. Mm-hmm. But I just love these. I thought they were adorable. Mm-hmm. So that was my Smalls exchange gift that I received. And I chose a Christmas bag and it was full of goodies. But look, it's my first tree. Oh. My first stitchy tree. I like the fabric. Now I want to stitch a ton of trees. I believe that's hands on. Mm -hmm. Maybe. I didn't ask. But it's beautiful. And I cannot wait to display it this year. I know, it's so cute. And she fixed it in this cutie little bucket with the galvanized. I really like this fabric that she like she knew I was going to get it. Mm hmm. She did a great job. She said it was her first tree finish, but it's beautiful. That's amazing. I love it. So that was our stitchy gift. Mm-hmm. And then when we are in Ohio, we always make sure to check out their thrift stores and their mm-hmm. Goodwill. And I wanted to show you guys, I saved a stitch. Ooh, that is absolutely amazing. I posted it on Instagram. This is, I believe it was Needle Art Designs. When I looked it up, I did find a pattern on Etsy. It's in the name of it. It's after church. So amazing. It shows that it was stitched in 1994. Stitching is perfect. And I paid $5.99. And I cannot wait to display it. I love it. So I found that. See if anything else I found was oh I found this at Goodwill which I thought would be perfect for a little finish. I love that. And it was so it just says Den Craft Ink. But how perfect would that be for a little tiny finish and something like that? I there? love it. Maybe some florals or yep. grass or something. So I grabbed that and then I found a, a longer burger basket. You know I love my longer burger. And I've been looking for this one. That's the noise. <laughs> Mushroom uh, ornament. Mushrooms. But I found I needed one. I have one this size already in mm-hmm. our bathroom for just little goodies. But I wanted one. I think it's a cracker basket. It's in perfect condition with it a is. liner in it. But I wanted it to sit by my chair and put like floss and stuff in I it. I love that. To stay organized and cute. And then, you know how I love the stitchy baskets. This is not a stitchy basket, but it could be. Mm-hmm. That's cute. This one. 
And I can just imagine, it did not have a lid, but I can just imagine some goodies in there for a little Christmas mm -hmm. design. And then I can keep it on my table where I sketch. So I picked up that. And then I think I picked up one more. Oh, if I fall out of this chair, we're all gonna know it. Please don't fall. I found this at the Peddler's Mall, and I'm gonna use this to um, for a finish. How cute is that? Oh, and it also has a working drawer. <laughs> So I can put like a scene or something up here. I some stitching, love that idea. Some other things. It's really nice. And a can, some candles. I thought. Mm -hmm. So I found that Good at Peppers I think that is all the damage that we did in Ohio. Yeah, I'm trying I'm to think. I found. I didn't bring all of it because I was gonna save some save the stitches. I found some just sewing patterns, which I think I'm gonna do the. So these are just, I think they were $2 cute. each. But then I think I'm going to try these placemats because that seems like mm. a good, simple sewing stitch to start because oh, I really need to get into sewing. stickers are fun for you. Yes. People love stickers. Halloween stickers, which these can be like, I mean, I don't mm. know how much it was, but $1.99 and they were originally, it doesn't give me the price. No, the stickers can be pricey. Mm-hmm. Which I used to scrapbook all the time when I was younger, so those stickers always remind she me of that. I had all the photos. kits and all the fun stuff. So I think that is it. I want to do some do shout outs. Have one more haul from the uh, raffle. <gasps> oh, yeah. Emma won on the. We've never won anything. No, I've never, ever. You enter for raffles, you pay for tickets, and then this year it was different. You could put tickets in whichever basket you were interested in. Mm -hmm. We've never won a raffle, but Emma won. Stephanie's basket. I, know. I was so excited. Stitching. So I posted their picture together on Instagram. Mm -hmm. So it was, was so excited. More of a Christmas themed. Let me try to have everything. I think this is everything. Yep. So it came with some fabric. I think that's what you thought about stitching the nutcracker on. Mm -hmm. I just don't know if it's big enough. It's 36 count. But then and it's, it's going to be smaller in. because it's 36 count. Oh, I, I think, think I need like 16 by 20 inches. But what count does it say? We'll have to look. Because yes. that's a much smaller count than you're used to. So I love some fabric. Yeah. I love that. And then, I want to see these came. I kept them all together. No. No. These were, this one came in it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think they both did. Yeah. So we've got some pins. This is, this is snag, snag repair. Yeah. Oh, I'm love snag. that. And then we've got some Country Cottage Needleworks, December. Love that. Then a sweet note from Steph on the postcard. Then so we've got a Stitch Miss needle minder. So I thought that, that one was cute. Uh, Santa stops here by Brenda Gervais with thy needle. Yeah. I have that one too. We should stitch it together. We do Emma. some stitch alongs. I just love how that kind of reminds me of the Home Alone house a yeah. little bit. You know, that's probably going to take us as long as it would to build the real mm -hmm. home along. And this so, is yeah. by Lindy Stitches. It's Peppermint Candy. I love Lindy Stitches. So I was so excited. Yes, it was my first time so winning anything happy. like that. Usually I don't like get I said, lucky that's with on the Instagram. Raffles. I've also posted some pictures over there of just some folks that we met mm -hmm. in our Smalls Exchange and taking pictures and all that good stuff. All the fun stuff. I wrote down a few floss tubers that we saw there so you guys may want to check the channel if you haven't already yes and that is floss boss and cousins sweet as you ever could imagine mm -hmm. sweet and southern we love it krista she sat with us she's the mm -hmm. wildflower stitcher and she has instagram and she is so sweet from oklahoma or lives in oklahoma currently dory 23 mm -hmm. on floss tube dory 23 stitches she sat at our table and yeah. she is so fun to talk to. We had such a great time with Dory. Mm -hmm. Chris X Cross Stitch sat beside us. Yep, and table beside us. And we played a little game. Oh. <laughs> uh, it was a guess my age game. And I guessed it right, but I won't tell you guys that he's 22. <laughs> so we did that. Uh, him and Steph, of course. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that you guys watch them, but. I just have to add, I don't know why I feel like I'm going to cry, but I'm not. They are 
just as genuine in person as they are on their video. Yeah. I have never met two ladies that are mother and daughter, and mm -hmm. I've never met anyone like them before, and I just love them both yeah. so much. But anyway, Stitching Spencer, and that's who Emma got Did her. Did my smalls exchange, mm -hmm. Emma? And so we're going to include that. And Sassy Southern Stitchers, which I have a bone to pick with those two. Dun, dun, dun. Now, they're fun. They're cute. They're sweet. And somehow I made it to South Carolina without a photo. So now you have to drive from Dallas to Charleston. I don't know how long that's going to take. <laughs> I know you guys don't mind driving, though. So just <laughs> let me know. I'm going to have a guest room. So that's who we met, StitchCon. Mm -hmm. And then for our regular floss tube, I had some shout outs. I've been trying my best to catch up with my floss tubes. I need to catch up on a lot of floss tubes. Yep. Yeah. And so ones that I haven't mentioned yet. Cross Stitch the Globe. Sisters, if you haven't seen them, you, you're missing out. Go watch them. I love them. And they're so informative. They're really great for new stitchers. And they've got so much for people that like myself that have stitched for decades. Mm -hmm. So I love them. Lost Our Needles. Another mother-daughter. Yep. And they had my heart from the first one. I love them. And I think they're in Arizona. Mm -hmm. uh, Jen's Fiber Web. I love her stitching. We stitch so many of the same things. So, and some things I didn't stitch until I started watching her. And like the one chart I made Emma bring back to me. <laughs> Tex Tilly, so sweet. We're doing the American Welcome South together. I love her. Two Needles Pulling Thread, of course. Mm -hmm. My online besties, whether they know it or not. Uh, watch them if you haven't. Of course, just keep stitching. Stitching is elementary. Give the channel a watch if you have not yet. You're missing mm -hmm. out. I love it. Sable Stitchers. They are a hoot. I love them. They are so fun to watch. Their false tubes are so full of stitching. Give them a look. And Finally a Farm Girl with Stitchy Linda. I love them. I mm -hmm. love Finally a Farm Girl. Her patterns. I need the little scarecrows. Yes. you kept, I'm surprised you didn't grab those. I know. You grabbed I everything home and I else. Didn't. Mm -hmm. And then... I want to say, I think it's Stitchy Linda that stitched them. Mm -hmm. And she's, her stitches are so beautiful. And she's doing American Welcome as well. And then Rika, House of Stitch and Stash. And I have to finish that one. But if you like, she does a lot of larger product projects. Products? No. Nope. Nope. Projects. Uh, she does Mira. She does Dimensions. She does a lot of, and she does a lot of samplers. So. Go give her a watch. Mm -hmm. And I think that's it. And we really have to run because now we are so behind on I gotta cleaning, bake some sweet potatoes. Decorating <laughs> and cooking, or we're gonna have a house full of angry folks. So we're gonna let y'all go. And I hope to see you guys. We're gonna try two weeks. Yeah. Maybe I'll have contacts on by then. We shall see how my eyes feel. But until then, we will uh, keep on stitching and we hope you guys yeah. do the same. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye.